Okay, so for the beanie part of the Ladybug photo prop outfit, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And we're going to go ahead and start off by doing the magic circle. And we're going to go ahead and chain up two. So, sorry. One and two and then we're gonna um, go ahead and do 11 double crochets into the center of the magic circle and it's gonna be a total of 12 um, counting the chain two <clears throat> sorry alright so go ahead and just do 11 double crochets in the center and then I will meet you here at the end okay Okay, so I'm at the end already, and I'm just going to pull on this little little string, the end right there, and it'll bring everything together. And then I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of our chain two. Okay. Oops, I didn't get them inside. Let's see. Make sure that you go inside of the chain two, okay, not through the space. All right. And pull all the way through. Then I'm a chain of two, and now we're gonna do um to, uh, we're gonna go into that same space as a, as we did the slip stitch and the chain two, and we're gonna do a no uh, double crochet in there because the chain two counts as a double crochet. And now we're gonna do two double crochets into eight each stitch. So go ahead and do two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. And I'll meet you guys when we get to the end again, okay? So just like this, putting two double crochets into each of these stitches. Okay, so I'm at the end now, and we're going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of our chain two, just like last time. So, let's go ahead and slip stitch. And as soon as I get this through, we can chain up two again. One, two... And now we're going to put another, um, we're going to put a double crochet into that same space. And in the next we're going to do one double crochet. And then two in the next. And then one in the next. And then two in this next one. One and two, and then we're gonna do one into the next one. So I hope you get the pattern of what we're doing here. So just put one. In, it's gonna be one in this one, two in this one, one in this one, two in this one. So that's gonna be the pattern. So go ahead and do that, and I'll meet you guys at the end. Okay, so here I am at the end, and we're gonna go ahead and slip stitch to the top of our chain two, and now we're gonna um chain up two and we are going to go ahead and we're going to put another we're going to put a double crochet into that same space and now we're going to put one double crochet in the next and then we're going to put another double crochet in the next so this pattern is going to be one double crochet it's going to be two double crochets one double crochet one double crochet then two double crochets see and now we're going to put one double crochet in the next then in the next one and one double crochet and then the next one we're going to put two okay so that's going to be the pattern so it's going to be one double crochet one double crochet, two double crochets. So go ahead and follow that pattern and I will meet you guys right here at the end. Okay, so here I'm at the end. I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch to the top of the chain two. And then I'm going to go ahead and we're not going to do any more increases. This is a good size already for a newborn. But if you're doing this for an older age, then maybe you should go another round. But I think this is good. And if you have the baby there to measure it, that's even better. But for a newborn, I think this is 
you know, a good size. So I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to do a chain up of two and then in the next stitch I'm going to put one double crochet. And now we're going to do one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so put one double crochet in each stitch around and um, I think we're going to do this for about, let me see, one, two, three, four. Do it for 10 more rows. So we're going to do this for 10 more rows. Um, and I will let you know for exactly how much more I did it after, you know, I'll see how, how I think the size is going. Okay, so I ended up doing um, a total of 12 rows. So you would be doing eight more rows after, you know, the increased rounds, which was four of them. And then after that, you do eight. If you want a little bit longer, you can do it for two more rows. But I think this was a good size. So I only did a total of 12 rows. Then after that, you just have to hide your tails, you know, um, using your tapestry needle, just thread them in between here. And now I'm going to show you guys um, how to do the antennas. So the way we're going to do the antennas, we're going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook and we're going to be using obviously black color yarn. Okay, Okay. so we're going to go ahead and start, um, we're using our, our 5.5 millimeter hook again just in case you didn't hear that. Um, we're going to do a magic circle with our black yarn and we're going to chain one and then we're going to do four single crochets into the magic circle. So there's one, two, three, and four. Pull that tight. And the way we're going to be working is we're going to be working in rounds. So you'll want to get like a little piece of string or if you have a st stitch marker, you can use that. But we're going to be working around so it's best to just, if you don't have a stitch marker, I just use a piece of string. And the way we do that is we're not going to be slip stitching, you know, and starting off, you know, turning or work or anything like that. Or, you know, we're just going to go right into the first um, um, single crochet and we're just going to do two double crochets in there. So no slip stitch, just right away connecting to it. And so I can get through. Okay, let me try that again. Alright, so we're going to go right into that first single crochet. We're going to do two single crochets. No slip stitch, just two single crochets right away. And we're going to do two single crochets in every stitch round. So that's two. This is three. Four. Then five. Six. Seven. And then our second one in there will be eight. Okay, so now that we got that, we are going to go again and we're going to put, you know, another double, two double crochets in each stitch around. Or actually, that's how we're going to, actually, we're going to leave it like that, I'm sorry. We're going to leave it like that. It'll look like a little, you know, kind of bowl once you connect it. So I was going to do two rounds of that, but no. We're just going to go ahead and decrease now. So, um, actually... I'm sorry. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm so confusing you right now. Um, what we're going to end up doing is we are going to go ahead and put one single crochet all the way around and then decrease. Yeah, I got a little confused there. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put one single crochet in everyone else. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do it. but Okay, so just put one single crochet and remember to keep your little marker there so you know where the round ends. But if you're counting, it'll make it so much easier. So just put one single crochet all the way around in every stitch. And then once you get to the round, I'll meet you back right here, okay? Okay, so now um, I've done my single crochets all the way around. And sorry about before, I just completely spaced out on how to do an antenna. I haven't done it for so long. But I'm back. I remembered how. 
Um, so what we're going to do, I finish um, my single crochets in each stitch around for you know a total of eight. Now we're going to decrease. And the way we're going to decrease is we're going to go into our single crochet. We'll bring up a loop, but don't you know do finish off single crochet. We're going to go into the next single crochet, bring it in, pull up a loop, and we should have three loops on our hook and we're just going to pull through all three. So we're making you know two single crochets into one. So we're going to do that four times. So make four, um, after the end we're going to have only four single crochets. So okay we're going to do that again. Pull up a loop, go, in, go inside the next single crochet, pull up a loop, and then we're going to pull through all three of those. Okay, So we have two more of those to do. So in the end we should only end up with four single, cro um, single crochets. So then we're pulling up the loop, we're going to go into the next single crochet, and there. Okay, so we have one more decrease to do, and we're going to go into that stitch, and we're going to go into the next stitch, and pull up the inner loop, and pull through all three. So there we did our decrease, and if you did it right, we should end up with only four single crochets all the way around. Now if you have your little string, you know, um, from the beginning, just shove that in there. It'll help as a stuffing for your antenna, like I did. Just shove it right in there. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my stitch marker because I don't want to get confused. Because this is gonna be very confusing now. Since we're in rounds, it's gonna get very confusing fast because the stitches are so close together. Since there's only four, it'll be fast, but it will be complicated because you have to make sure you don't get confused because they're all really close together. So now we're just gonna do three rounds of single crochet okay in each stitch and there'll be four so make sure you're counting because it'll make it so much easier if you're counting so like this one two three it's very easy to get lost so where your stitches are at okay so just be very careful with that and then four this will be like the last stitch so just do that for, this is already one round, so do that for two more rounds, okay, and I'll meet you here at the end. Okay, so here I finished, and I decided to go ahead and do one more round of it, because I felt it wasn't long enough. So I did one more round, and just go ahead and do another round of single crochet um, for the four stitches. Then you're just going to cut off, and make sure you leave enough tail to go ahead and, you know, sew this onto your beanie. And then we're going to... Just pull that and close it off. Okay, you can stuff it more if you want to, but I think this is good. Okay, so just make another antenna of these, one more, so there'll be two antennas, and I'll meet you back here right now. Okay, so I went ahead and I made my two um, antennas, and I was going to tell you guys, if you guys want to stuff them a little bit more, you can always just use, you know, your little scrap pieces of, of yarn that you have left over that you, sometimes you cut, you could save it, and you could just go ahead and shove it inside, you know, your antenna. You can just grab it and like, you know, maybe use your crochet hook to just shove some of it in there and you can make it like more stuffed. So that's a good way to do that. Um, I really don't think mine needs any. I just want to show you guys how, you know, you could save this and just reuse it. But I'm not going to put very many in there because the other one is already stuffed a little bit and I already stuffed this one. So just use, you know, your scrap ones and put them in there. But mine are good. So now we're just going to sew these actually onto our beanie and we're going to use our tapestry needle okay okay so i have my both my antennas and i already um went ahead and sewed on one of them to my beanie so now what you're going to want to do uh, i'm going to show you guys how to do the other one so you guys can know how to do it so the way we do that is where i put mine is i went ahead and i first you know folded my beanie and i, I like to put the um where we actually ended the beanie, which was back here, where the string was left over that we had to hide, I like to put it to the back, okay? So then I like to look right here, once it's folded in half and I know where my middle is at, I like to count, you know, to the third row. So this is the first, this is the second, this is the third. And you can tell on this side, first, second, third row. And I like to put it right there. So you're just going to get your antenna. And you're going to place it where you want it at, which is where I said, right here on the third row, right in the middle. And you're just going to go ahead and you're going to grab a piece of, you know, one of your stitches here. 
and you're just going to bring that in through like that and you're just going to want to grab you know another stitch like one of the other um, single crochets here that stitch and then grab another one piece right here so like this I hope you guys can see that on camera I'm not sure and you know just go around grabbing you know let's say you now the third stitch since I already did two of them there's two more left to grab I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece of stitch right here and just bring it through until I've gone all the way around this antenna so I'm gonna just go like this make sure I grab it right and grab another one like that okay and you want to go around like I I went around like two times you know just making sure that you grab you know enough from your antenna I like to go around a few times just to make sure I got it secured see that's how it'll start looking I'm gonna go right here one more time and then after that the way you're going to secure it is you're just going to grab a piece like go under again in one of the stitches and then go through there to that loop and make sure it's tightened and you can do that again just to make sure it's all secured you can even go like through your antenna to the other side well not the other side but like you know a row down and pull tight and then to really secure it, I like to actually go inside of the antenna. See, I'm going inside the antenna and all the way to the top. Bring it out. Then you can bring it back in. Go through here. You can just, you know, maneuver it around to make sure, you know, it's really lost in there and it can't get undone. And bring it in one more time. You know, that way you know that it's not going to get undone for sure. And then if it gets kind of pulled like that, you just bring it up again because we did put it through. And I think I tugged a little too hard. But you can just bring it out with your own you know there you go and you can just cut off the excess that you left over and it'll get lost in there so this is what you end up with actually I'm gonna cut that a little bit shorter okay you're just pulling your antenna up a little bit if you want to fix it move it around but this is how it should look in the end really cute little antennas for your ladybug Alright, and you have all together, when you're done, if you did everything right, you should end up with your little ladybug diaper cover and your ladybug beanie. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it was easy to follow. Um, and I promise I'll get better at making videos. I'm just really new at it, so I'm still learning how to get it all done right on video. Um, but thank you for watching, and please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you did. And leave a comment if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.